Okay, here's the second scenario on what, how a spoke could uh, break on you. The first video I made, the spoke broke down at this end, and uh, it was dangling inside the uh, rim there, back and forth and loose. Uh, this is the other scenario where the spoke breaks up at this end. You can see there's a hole here, there's the hole in the rim, but there's no spoke. Quite often you're, when you're riding along and one of these spokes gives out, you'll hear a twang or something like that. You'll hear a piece of metal bouncing on the ground and you think you ran over something, but chances are your spoke came out, came loose, went out, and got caught on the bike and went for a toss. But anyway, the first step to changing this one is you have to drain the air out of the tire. So I may have to time lapse some of this. Well, you drain the air of the tire, but you do not have to take the wheel off or the tire off. Okay, so the air is out. Now, it's just a matter of pulling back the tire. Get a good grip on it there. And if I can move the inside liner over, you can see the hole where the spoke is. So, take my new spoke, take the nut off, thread it onto the back of another spoke. So now it's threaded in the way that it would go on. Stick it through the hole, on it goes, and you have to fit it in that little hole there. Okay, so here comes the other one from in behind. The trickiest part of this is just getting the liner out of the way inside without damaging it too much, or at all. So there's my spoke. Bring the other one up. Line them up. It seems to be a little tricky here. Okay, now the spoke is going on to the other one. Just putting in my spoke key. I find the 14 is the best fit for these GM spokes. Okay, so now I'm pulling the nut onto the spoke. Take this one out now. Looks like that one's on more than I thought. There we go. I barely have enough spoke nut coming through, but I think I got it. Okay, now it's just a matter of tightening it up. Sounds about right. And that's it. Now it's just a matter of airing up the tire. Okay, that's it. That's how long it takes to change a spoke. So now you've seen both scenarios. It's actually a very simple process.
And that's how you change spokes on the road.